Hey, so, um, this is like my second one in a day or something, but I don't think I'm going to post them all at the same time. Um, there were actually a few things I wanted to talk about. I'm kind of in a, a weird mood tonight, I guess. I'm not, I haven't really been in a bad mood lately, but tonight I'm just kind of, I guess not in a bad mood, just kind of blah. Um, i just like to point out, first of all, that this video that I'm about to talk about is not really about any of my friends. It's just about something I've noticed, I guess. So, I'm going to start off with, um, I've noticed high school relationships are sometimes pointless, I guess, because you spend so much time with your significant other that you spend a lot less time with your friends and then you break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever and you realize you just lost all of that time with your friends that like all the time that you could have been having and this time you're not gonna get back so I never really I guess it's ha like it's happened to me a lot before I mean I have had uh, I think maybe two serious relationships in high school I had maybe yeah, two in the four years I was in high school, and one of my relationships I'm not really going to talk about. It was it was a really bad relationship. It wasn't a healthy relationship at all. It was yeah, we're just, we're not going to talk about it. It was it was bad. Oh, um, my other relationship really wasn't that bad. It was just I realized that it wasn't going anywhere. Like I don't know. I guess it was just kind of pointless. So I I broke up with them. And we just, like, like, all of my friends at the time, I, I don't know how this always happens, but all, the, like, they always have significant others, which I, like, I love spending time with a significant other, but, um, it's, I just think it's dumb to, like, ditch your friends for them, or, like, if you have plans, just, like, make plans over them, or whatever. I don't know, that's happened to me before, and I'm not, like, pointing anybody out, because, like, I know everybody does it. I'm sure I've done it before. But it was something that I noticed and something that just bothered me, I guess. I don't know. I was, like, I was driving tonight. I was driving on my way home from work. I got off work at 1030. And, like, I, I love driving because it gives me time to think. Like, I can think about, you know, whatever. And I was thinking about that, and nothing, nothing's going on right now that, like, would make me think about that more or anything. I mean, it hasn't really happened to me lately. So, I just, I don't know. I was thinking about it earlier and just, I just think it's kind of pointless sometimes because it's not necessarily that you're not going to spend the rest of your life with that person. It's the, well, I mean, like, there's a small chance that you will, first of all. I'm not saying it's impossible, but there's a very small chance that you will. And people in high school tend to be really shallow. Like, I mean, people in general tend to be really shallow, but people in high school are like, I don't know, two-year-olds? And just, I don't know. That was another thing was, there's this kid that I know that I, I used to talk to. I used to like them, whatever. And then found out who they really were, and I was like, I'm really glad that nothing ever happened between us because you are a jerk. Like, this kid... I don't know how... To, I don't really know how to explain it. They were more into... They're completely into looks. And if you base something just just solely off of looks, you're not really going to get anything. I'm not saying it's not important in a relationship because... It's not important in a person, I don't think, but I think there has to be some physical attraction to like the person you're with or if you are with them just for their personality you develop physical attractions either way it works I guess but this kid didn't want anything to do with personality they just wanted a um just wanted a pretty face to walk around with and I, I don't know people like that bother me I guess so just a few things I needed to eat off my chest that I've been thinking about a lot lately just shallowness and relationships and people in general so that kind of sucked but yeah I just got off work um I don't even know what time it is like I don't know almost an hour ago and I had a really good night at work I mean it was fun it was entertaining to say the least um but I've had a migraine since 
don't know. I was I got it a little bit before I went to work. Part of it's probably because I don't really sleep as much anymore. And, uh... So I, I'm guessing that's part of why it is. But I forgot to take my migraine medicine to work, so I just took Advil. And all it did was make it an annoying headache instead of an excruciating headache, which I'm not sure which is worse, honestly. Um... But yeah, and then I got home and like my stomach hurts so bad and I don't even know why because I really haven't eaten much today just because of my headache and I was like, I got really good genes because I got migraines from both sides of the family and I have stomach problems because I, my mom has stomach problems. So I got, <laughs> I guess I got really lucky. So I, I've taken Tums and like four Advil today and that was... I think that's about it because yeah and then all I've eaten today is Subway for lunch and I had some fruit for dinner at work but that was that's pretty much it um so yeah I think that's really all I have I guess that's it and I will some mouse all right I'll catch you guys later bye